Philip, can, can, can you uh, recognize uh, your wife is Vietnamese? Yeah, of course. Just look at her. She's uh, <laughs> more Vietnamese than Czech. <laughs> Xin chào tất cả mọi người đã quay trở lại với channel của câu lạc bộ Công an Hà Nội. Ngày hôm nay thì chúng ta sẽ rời xa sân cỏ, rời xa sân tập của câu lạc bộ mà chuyển tới một khoảng không gian cực kỳ mới, một khoảng không gian cực kỳ thú vị mà chắc chắn các bạn chưa bao giờ được nhìn thấy đúng không nào? À, ngày hôm nay thì tôi đang có mặt tại nhà của Philip Nguyễn với người vợ Aneta của mình. Philip, Aneta, can you introduce about your home, yourself to all the fans? <cười> Xin chào. Xin chào. Uh... My name is Phil Nguyen. I'm a goalkeeper of uh, Công an Hanoi and uh, this is my wife. Xem xong thì Aneta, xem xong thì don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it, it maybe introduce about yourself, about your name. Yeah, just, just, just your name. Yeah. yeah. Uh, xin chào, uh, my name is Aneta and I am wife of Philip Nguyen. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. okay, so it's about six months since your family arrived to Vietnam, right? Oh. Six months? Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. From, yeah. From June? Yeah, yeah. from June. Yeah. yeah. So, Aneta, you first. Uh, how do you feel about Vietnam right now? Right now? Uh, right now? Yeah. yeah. Uh, To be honest, yeah, we are happy now uh, because yeah, we found a teacher of Vietnamese uh, language, so we learn basic phrases, so we can we can talk a little bit, and yeah, yeah, everything is good. The weather is nice, and yeah. So you can adapt with the weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The weather is nice. Oh now, yeah. So, so how about our country? About food? Yeah, Everything? actually, actually, we we really love the Vietnamese food, so we eat a lot. <laughs> yeah, we eat a lot. Yeah, and everything's good now. So we we, we got used to it. Uh, to be honest, uh, at the beginning it wasn't easy at all, but our family helped us a lot to feel more comfortable here. Yeah. How about Philip? Yes, I uh, must say that uh, we uh, used on this uh, because weather is uh, better for us now and uh, also our son going to kindergarten and uh, he can speak Vietnamese uh, a little bit, he can speak English. Uh, so this is the most important thing for me that uh, my family, my son and my wife feeling more comfortable yeah. and I can uh, more focus on uh, football now. So uh, before Philip, Uh, back to Vietnam to play for Komando FC. How many times Anita arrived to Vietnam? I don't know. It was about six times, maybe. Six times. Yeah, six times. It's more than Philip, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. three, three times. Yeah. yeah, three or four times. So uh, she was uh, my <laughs> uh, guider to uh, to Vietnam. So <laughs> yeah. But, but now experience. your Vietnamese is better than Anita. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because uh, I already learned uh, Vietnamese in Czech Republic. Oh yeah. Yeah, a few years ago. But of course, uh, it's difficult because uh, you don't use Vietnamese uh, yeah. every day in Czech Republic. So yeah. Now it's uh, more intensive, uh, so uh, we have uh, two lessons uh, in a week and uh, we can practice uh, every day in a shop, uh, in massage or everywhere. So it's uh, more easy for us to uh, learn yeah. in Czech Republic. So what is the most surprising when you first come back to Vietnam for both of you? The most surprising? Yeah, the most Should I stop? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, For me, it was the how Vietnamese people can recognize me on the street. Oh. I didn't expect that. Uh, <laughs> so uh, every day, uh, uh, some people can stop me and ask me for a picture and like this. So it was uh, really surprising for me. How about it? Uh, yeah, I think it's it's the same. Uh, I mean, the atmosphere during the football matches. Oh. So that was uh, very surprising, and the people are very kind and nice to us. So. That's it. So in Czech, Czech Republic, uh, what do you know about Vietnam from your parents? Uh, yeah, from TV or something? <laughs> I think we we know a lot because uh, our fathers are from Viet Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, they were born in Haiphong, so yeah. they teach us a lot about Vietnam, about culture, uh, about food and stuff like this. So I think we know a lot. Yeah, also uh, I have a sister, she's a brother, so they are 
same like us with Q. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah. uh, they also know many uh, about the Vietnamese culture also. Our mothers, because uh, their husband was Vietnamese, so uh, they know uh, food, they know culture, and uh, yeah, they, they know a lot about Vietnam. Yeah, so, uh, okay. That's the first part of our interview today. This is the <laughs> most uh, interesting part I and I really want to ask you many, <laughs> many questions. So first, uh, can you talk about the first time you meet your wife, your husband? Anita first. Oh, the no. first time you must, uh, Philippe, what is your first impression? <laughs> so when we first met, it was in my part-time job. I uh, work in the fitness center yeah. as receptionist and he came there and I saw at the first sight that he is half Vietnamese. I can I can see. I can see. You can, you can see. Yeah, so yeah. that was interesting for me because I am also half Vietnamese, so that's why I uh, fall in love with me. No. <laughs> so so but but how how can you know he's a Vietnamese? How are Vietnamese? I can see. I can see. <laughs> She's a far from face. <laughs> no, yeah, she's in, <laughs> yeah. Here in Vietnam, uh, Vietnamese people cannot recognize that we are half, but in Czech they, they can recognize that we are half oh, Vietnamese. Wow. Yeah. Oh. So that's really interesting. Yeah. So I, I saw it. Philip, can, can, can you uh, recognize uh, your wife is Vietnamese? Yeah, of course. Just look at her. She's uh, <laughs> more Vietnamese than Czech. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, of course, of, of first time. Uh, I can I could see that um, she's not 100% Czech, uh, so I said, oh, it's uh, really interesting, and maybe I should talk to her. So I talked to her, and uh, yeah, she fell in love with me, and from <laughs> first <laughs> moment, it's fast. Uh, how long have you become his boyfriend? How long? Mm, it was a little bit difficult. <laughs> uh, But uh, I think uh, after uh, maybe one two months, uh, just one just, or two months. Yeah, yes. we're just, <laughs> just dating and uh, yeah, going out and like this. So uh, after this, uh, we uh, start a relationship. Yeah. But uh, after uh, two two two, months. two two or three months, uh, she left uh, Prague and uh, oh. wanted to go to London uh, oh. to get some experiences. So. Uh, We was uh, like apart for uh, three months maybe. So uh, I because of course I uh, I played football there, so I cannot uh, go to London every every week. So uh, we we just uh, meeting one maybe once in a, in a, in a month for uh, for a weekend. So it was uh, beginning be beginning was difficult. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We are sitting here and still together. Yeah. <laughs> it's happy. It's happy. So uh, I have one question just. I really, I really want to ask you. So, I have heard that uh, from the first time you didn't tell Anita you are the football player, right? Yeah, yes, <laughs> I didn't. But uh, when I did, uh, she didn't know what does it mean in general because uh, she didn't know that uh, football players are professional <laughs> and that uh, it's their job. Uh, she thought that uh, I'm playing football, like um, maybe uh, half, for hobby, yeah. yeah, for hobby or half. Part job, <laughs> so she's still asking me. And, and what's your job? Yeah, to, <laughs> and, what's your job? And, and he said, oh, "I'm a football player." And I said, oh, "Yeah." And what's your job? <laughs> yeah, <she's, laughs> so she thought it's my hobby. So, <laughs> yeah. so how, how do you feel when you heard Philip is a professional football player? Just like, uh, when did yeah. you know that? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I don't know. It was uh, it was interesting because we met in Prague, and during this time he played in Vlasim. Yeah. And it's my hometown. We oh. met in Prague and he, he played in Vlasim, so it was interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah. so it was a destiny. It was yeah. so, so curious because, uh, yeah, also we found out that uh, my father knows her grandfather from Haiphong because her gr grandfather is from Haiphong. Yeah. Because they were neighbors. Yeah, yeah. So oh, they're neighbors? Yeah, yeah. neighbors oh. in Haiphong, so it was... Really <laughs> so it, it was, uh, yeah, funny because I played in Vlasim, she was born in Vlasim, but we never met in Vlasim, we met yeah. in Prague. Uh, it's about, I don't know, 50 kilometers away. And yeah, then we find out that uh, my father knows her grandfather, so it was a little bit curious. We were a uh, little bit afraid that if we are not uh, links or something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 